This feels like a shady spot. Oh, look at that. Peace, Zizix. Let him rest. I am much refreshed. Lead on. Tell me true, Mithras, for there is a question which gnaws at me. Of course. Do you believe Marduk was destined to come here? Or did he follow me? Hold yourself blameless. It is the gods here who have predestined their own destruction with intolerance and suspicion. I can see they have not been reluctant to war on one another. You are too generous. If this world is consumed, it is because it was unworthy of surviving. You surprise me. I know you have cause to resent the gods. But what of all the innocents who have suffered? There are no innocents. It is all of us together, by action and inaction, who make the world what it is. Was I not the one to speak the prophecy? Would the gods have turned on one another if I had not? You cannot blame yourself for speaking the truth. The truth? The truth is we are doomed to repeat our mistakes time and time again. It is the world's only constant. No. Uh, forgive my melancholy. Weariness has weighted down my spirit. Uh, please, uh, continue your tale. As you wish. Idols to Marduk began to appear, and in places, the islands began to melt away. This was much as it had been in the final days of Jira. And not unlike the gaping maw of doom in your prophecy, Mithras. We are certain it is not Charnel's passing alone which has wrought such destruction on the lands of Stygia. It is the hand of Marduk. The others must end their aggression against us, or be judged complicit in his crimes.